So I'm going to just make it here, here underscore EMP underscore TGT. Means whatever the source data is there, this source data I'm extracting and then loading into the my target table. Okay. But come to the here in the OLTP system. So if any modifications happen in your existing data, for example, my salary will be increased to 2000. Salary will be increased to 2000. So what happened here? It will simply update the data here in the OLTP systems. Okay, in the OLTP system is going to update the data. We can't. So if you again, if you use the 10, 101, ROM, 2000, 10. So it won't create this kind of because of the, this 101 is a for a one employee, one unique code, right? For a one employee. It will be there for the employee code will be there. The same employee code they can't give any other 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 employees. Okay, so that is the reason it won't accept this record itself. Okay, that is the reason the OLTP system is going to update the data in the OLTP systems. But come to the data warehousing. Here they are going to maintain the history like the data will be loading into the in this format. We can able to find out what is your first salary, what is your second salary or what is your next salary, something, everything will be, we can able to track in the data warehousing, okay, we can able to track in the data warehousing, clear guys, the OLTP system the data is going to update, the transactional data is going to update here, but this is a only read only, we can't do any manipulation. That is reason we can able to track the historical data here. Okay, and also this OLTP system is going to follow the ER model, entity relationship model means primary key and foreign keys. Entity relationship model is going to follow this one. I am going to explain you ER model separately. Okay, here in this OLTP is going to par following the denormalized model. Okay. I am going to write one by one. By one. First OLTP I will write. It will follow the ER model. Okay. But OLAP, it will follow the denormalized dimension model. I will explain you guys what is year model, what is dimension model. The next class I am going to explain. Okay. And then here is a normalization, normalized data. Normalized data. Means normalized data is nothing but the, this is the normalized data. So it won't allow the duplicate records in the, in the normalization. So no, no, normalization, they won't allow the duplicate records. They are the different. Uh, kind of techniques are there normal form 1 normal form 2 normal form 3 or like that so many forms are there those are it will be not required for us but it is a normalized data data redundancy is happen here means we are simply is going to override the data here update the data we can't allow the duplicate records here but this is a OLAP is a denormalized data denormalized data so these points we can go into discuss in the next classes guys. But as of now just dis remember that OLTP is a normalized data, OLAP is a denormalized data. Okay. And then OLTP is follow the ER model, OLAP follows the dimension model. Okay. And here it is going to update the data. Update the data. Transactional data is going to update, but here it is going to read the data. Okay, next year it will be. Then we'll see what are the points are there. Yeah. See, so who is going to use these OLTP systems? 
who is going to use the application who is going to use the oldp systems so operation erp crm legacy apps means which are the shops stores or malls or any stores there they are operating the the billing section right all will be oldp system data only that is it's come under the erp okay erp crm legacy apps so the front end tools who are the using the any software for billing section even if you go to the hotel they are going to generate some them billing counter okay everything will be come under the oldp data only all the will be come under the oldp data only that is so those applications will come under the wherever they are going to use the front end applications all will be oldp data applications only in the, the telecom uh, uh, stores also crm they are using sir yeah that's why who are the front end guys who are the banking also you could take the banking sector the front end who are the cashier is there or who are the employees are there the bank employees they are going to use this operational data only okay these are the applications erp applications crm applications so these all are under it come the oltp that's why i given the here so these all applications it will come under the trans oltp applications okay erp crm scm legacy web data external data all the systems all the applications it will come under the transactional data only so these data whatever the data is generating these applications based on this application they are going to build the data warehousing okay so who are the using the any stocks uh, stock pointers stockholders the using the front end applications all the front end applications they are going to generate the transactional data that transactional data they are going to build based on this transactional data they are going to build the data warehousing okay here maximum they are going to store into the weeks or months data max to max year data they are going to store in these applications okay max to max any year data is going to store into the these applications but here data warehousing any num any number of years they are going to store into the data you can able to analyze any number of years for 10 years 20 years also if your capacity is there then you can maintain the 20 years data also n number of years data you can you can able to maintain here in the data warehousing but we can't maintain that many years in the this applications oltp applications it won't support that much system okay that uh, that storage it won't support here it's very difficult to handle that that many years of the data okay so clear right which are the applications is going to use the oltp system erp system crm system scm systems these are the back end uh, front end applications so that front end applications is going to use the oltp data on top of that based on that oltp applications they are going to generate the oltp data okay next typical user who is going to use this oltp system and who is going to use the oltp system so oltp system is going to use the staff members who are the front end guys is there who is the front end application is uh, building the transactional data those all people is going to use the this oltp applications so here the oil applications who is taking the decisions who is taking the at the decision level those people is going to use this oltp data based on the analyzing the data based on the whatever the data they have to see based on that they are going to take a decisions those people only is going to use this oltp data okay the managers or executive ceo cfo who are the high level senior people those people is going to use this oltp data okay Hardian means so it is going to store the data into OLTP applications either weeks or months level data. Okay, weeks and months level and also for to build also it will take the, it won't take much time. Okay, it won't take much time for the to build these applications. Maximum month level of three months. That's that is the reason 
this OLTP projects, OLTP projects, it won't take more than years. So it's going to finish within the six months or one year is going to complete the project for this uh, uh, OLTP application projects. Okay. But come to the OLTP application, OLTP, OLTP project, data warehousing projects. It will be very long term projects. Minimum three years, four years, five years, even 10 years also there are the projects. Okay. Again, 10 years also there, it the projects will be there. It still is going on the projects. Okay. So, this is a very long term projects, guys. The data version projects are the very long term. Which are currently I am working from last five years, I am working on the same project. Still another two, three years is there, work is there. Okay. Once we are entered to the project, so if you want, if you go out on the another company, otherwise it will be there, project will be there for you minimum five years, three years. The project will be there minimum, minimum to minimum three to four years is their project. Okay, so the origin will be here. It will store the data weekly or monthly level data. Here years years of the data it will store. Even for building also the application build also it will take within the six months only. It's going to complete this project OLTP projects. But OLTP projects data version projects it will be long term projects. Okay. So, approximately it will be the years only. It won't complete within the year or two years, these projects. Okay. Next, refresh. The refresh will be happen and will be immediately. Okay. The OLTP system will happen the immediately refresh. For example, take the your ATM, guys. If you go to the ATM at 7 o'clock, if you withdraw some amount, 2000, and 7 1 again, you withdraw one, another amount, one, another 3000 something. So it will be th within the seconds is going to update your mini statement at what time you did the transactions. Then automatically it will come the your current balance. Okay. So that is the reason it is going to the refresh is happening in the within the seconds, within the minutes, sorry, within the seconds only. It will be immediately it is going to refresh the OLTP data. Okay. 